Who's this a statue of? This is the Queen of Lebus, the one the king tried so hard to revive, his one and only love. She's beautiful, isn't she? Ed, doesn't she look like the girl in white who we keep seeing? Huh? Yeah, I can see that. Wait a minute, Gramps. It sounded like you knew that lady in white. Can you tell us who she is? So, you urchins noticed the resemblance between the Queen and Elma, too. Crowley said the same thing when he found this statue for the first time. Care to elaborate? That girl in white you boys saw, that's Crowley's lover. His dead lover. What? Crowley's trying to bring his dead lover, Elma, back to life. Whoa, hold the phone, Gramps. You're not making any sense. It's been almost 50 years. I met Crowley for the first time on my way to study the Lebus civilization. He was studying the ancient method of creating golems. We immediately hit it off and decided to travel together. One day, he just started talking. How he had lost his lover, how he failed at reviving her through alchemy. Reviving? Through alchemy? <sighs> Later, we were able to decipher the mysteries of Lebus, and Crowley succeeded in bringing back Elma. Those were good times. The three of us, me, Crowley, and Elma, got along great. But those days didn't last long. Elma's body was imperfect. In less than half a year, Elma turned back into mud right before our very eyes. Crowley began his studies again. He immersed himself in the study of golems. He was possessed by it. So many Elmas were made, and all would fail. Then one day, Elma, half of her body a golem, turned to me with the saddest look on her face and said, Please stop. Please stop him. Please let me die. Please let me die. I later found out what caused the civilization of Lebus to perish. The golems going berserk! Creating golems is dangerous. I couldn't let Crowley go on practicing the Grand Arcanum. But I couldn't stop him. He was already half mad. My words weren't reaching him anymore. So I left him. I thought he would give up without my help. But it seems... Crowley has been continuing his studies on golems all this time. And even now, he continues to make the same mistakes over and over again. So that's why it's hard to believe. Elma isn't alive, but she has that appearance. I've got to stop Crowley. There's just no way. No way to give life to what is dead. Unless you're a god, or... There's something you should know. When we first met that girl, she handed this to me. The Ring of Lebus. I had dug it out from the ruins and gave it to Elma as a gift. It's a special ring that has been passed down through royalty. So... Elma must have meant for you to come here. What's happening? Look out! This isn't good. We aren't safe here anymore. Back outside, everyone! Hurry! Don't gotta ask me twice!
that's a welcome wagon. Crowley, what are you doing? Creating monstrosities like this? We can't fight and babysit Gramps at the same time. Lieutenant, you protect the old guy. What? Edward, wait! You guys go hide somewhere! Come on, Al. Let's kick its ass! If it has one, anyway.
He's down for the count, Ed. If that thing turns out to have a twin brother, I'm gonna be pissed. Lieutenant, Mr. Glossner, you can come out now. Are you boys okay? I'm sorry I couldn't assist you. I'm the one who should be sorry. You boys are risking your lives, and it's all because of me. Ah, jeez. Don't get all sappy on me now, Gramps. None of this is your fault. It's all Crowley's game. No, kid. It is my fault. It's my fault that Crowley became the way he is. I couldn't stop my friend. I ran away instead. I bear full responsibility. Mr. Glossner, I don't think... Don't let your guard down. No, Elma! You have to run and... What? No! Elma, please! Where are you, Elma? What now? I'm not sure. Damn, there's just too many of these things. <sighs> Difficulties, Edward Elric. How can one struggle against a lumbering enemy whose only strength is at its number? Behold, hideous deformations. Sample the marriage of alchemy and physical strength passed down the Armstrong line for generations. Heart might, heart erudite! That wasn't too much, was it? It's so hard holding yourself back in battle when you're fighting brainless drudge. Colonel. My sincerest apologies, Lieutenant. We did mean to arrive a little earlier. Jeez, don't you guys know how to come onto a scene? Without making a scene, you're so attention starved. Right. You knew I'd have to show my face sometime. So how have things been going, Full Metal? Looks like this was a close call. Guess that means you owe me one. I don't owe you anything. These golems couldn't get an inch on... <laughs> and now, you owe me two. Uh, if you're my backup, then back me up! 
<laughs> That's funny, but I'm not here for backup, Full Metal. You fought bravely enough. Now you can leave it in the hands of the state.